good. Test, testing, testing one. Testing, testing one. Testing, testing one, two. Right. Okay, YouTube. Well, last week I was trying to make a redo my stand, and believe it or not, the top part up here was where my 170 watt MIG welder couldn't melt this bar. This bar, I say, yeah? it, could, it could not melt it or make a flow to latch it together. I can see now I've done that. And I've done that with half of the power of this little tiny thing. There's my hand, that's how big it is. It's this little stick welder. But, I've got it up on to 112. Now on the MIG welder it was 170 amp. And it couldn't do what this does. But this is supposed to, this little thing here is supposed to be 250 amp. This little thing, look, so as my hand. This little thing is supposed to be 250 amp. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and blow an hole through this um, box section, thick box section. It's the same section as that part basically, but I'm going to try and blow an hole in it. And if I can blow an hole in it, that will tell me that this machine is a very powerful, nasty looking machine. Here we go. Okay, we're going to try and blow an hole through this. I'm just put the earth wire on there. I've got it set to 100 and so 250 amp. So I'm going to scrape there and there, and then we're going to. I've got my glasses. Whoa! Blowing an hole straight through it. Oh my God! Look at that. Can you see that? It just melted that thick stuff. So, what a welder. So now I've got to fill it in, I? So I'll turn it down. Uh, I've got to fill it in now, I suppose. Uh, the way it's that. Good giving. Turn it down again. Well, I'm out of rod. That's a long line, guys. Turn the power down a bit more, I think. Ooh, that's almost I almost got my head in the Oh, And there we filled the rod in. We filled the hole back in again. Oh, so yeah, wow, I'm a little machine. So, don't get thinking that was just welded in there number 30. This machine goes all the way up to 253 and right down to 25. So what a belting little machine at 59 pounds from eBay. 
well guess what when you turn it off it still blows just to keep it right see but look at the size of it I can hide that behind my end that's how big it is it's tiny uh, not well, it's not tiny, tiny, but it's the right size. Okay. So to put it in your pocket, let's say it's four inches across. Eight inches long. And six inches high. And that's 250 amp and it blows all through steel easy where 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 on a uh, a mig welder of 170 amp it couldn't even weld that to it but that one now is welded there as you can see well what i've already done i put a big chunk on there because you've got to lift the motorbike balance all right in a bit catch you later i'll put the link for this welder down below catch you later bye Testing, testing one. Testing, testing one. Testing, testing one, two. Right.